Hello, this is Hans Hobbies, and this is a quick review on the Cross Silhouette uh, Majinga Z from Bandai. Uh, this is a little model kit um, of the classic Mecha. And being the SD Cross Silhouette series, uh, you have two options to build this. You have the option to build it the regular SD style, <clears throat> SD style, or you have this option of this cross silhouette style. And what the cross silhouette is, and this whole series, whether you build it an SD or the cross silhouette version, um, what's neat about it is they have an inner frame, which is pretty cool for such such a little little thing. It used to be that uh, uh, inner frames were reserved for master grades and perfect grades but these days it seems like even high grades and apparently SDs have them which is pretty pretty neat uh, this one is actually a gift from my dad but I thought I'd do a quick review on it because I have reviewed one of these cross silhouette uh, models before uh, I reviewed this cross silhouette SD Saku and this one um, cost about $10 but this one cost about uh, $17. And the reason I found out why this one cost a lot more was because the, the Zaku over here um, only comes with the parts to build it in the SD form. You have to buy the, the CS frame parts separately. Uh, which is why this one comes... Um, this one's considerably shorter than this guy. And why it's so much cheaper. Uh, this one actually came with the cross silhouette parts, so you have the option of building it either in the SD form or the cross silhouette form. Um, if you want to use all the parts, I mean, you paid for the cross silhouette parts, so I don't know why you wouldn't build it that way. But, um, and also if you do that, you don't have any leftover parts. So uh, I built this one up, and the neat thing about this is it comes with a few features. So the cross silhouette means that you get um, articulation at the arm right here uh, along with the articulation here. So that's all the standard. I'll show you the standard articulation first. So standard articulation, you get the hands. Also, um, it includes, I'll take the box right here. It, it includes some parts extra parts so the hand rotates and also it's in a ball joint like this and you have the option of these open hands uh, for both sides um, the arm swivels arm moves up and down like this and forward uh, front and back like that for more posability um, swivels at the thigh and moves back and forth and also has this extension part I don't know if that's part of the SD in the CS frame I'm not sure I think it is but and then the, the foot articulation and that's basically all you get on the the SD version but with the SD the, the CS frame you get as you saw the arm articulates it kind of likes to pop out sometimes though um, there's a swivel here at the arm joint so you have a double swivel there Um, the leg extends out like, like you saw for more posability. So like, if you don't want to like, do a kick or something, you can do that. Um, the leg also bends 90 degrees and also swivels along with the same like the foot and all that. And then it kind of swivels again up here. Uh, overall, it's a pretty... Oh, and the, also the head moves up and down side to side. And there's some waist articulation. But not much. It's just kind of uh, restricted because of the shape of uh, shape of figure. Um, some other features about it is the uh, the wing is the wing is removable. You can either just pop it off, but then you uh, or you can make it if you want to make it more accurate. 
and get rid of this diamond part. There's this alternate waist part you can put on. Um, but I think this version would look much cooler, so this is how I have it. And also, as you saw, you get the two extra hands. And you also get this rocket punch part, which I think is pretty cool. And all you do is pop off the arm right here. Plug it in here. And then plug the arm this way. Like that. Straighten out the arm. And now you can make it look like it's doing a rocket punch. And I think that's pretty cool. There's a lot of pos uh, posability with this. I think it's a really good figure. Also the quality of this thing. Um, this whole line from what I've seen so far. Because this this mecha is supposed to be more glossy. The, all the glossy parts are very, very glossy. It almost looks like a clear coat or like a polished. And that's really nice. And you can see with the more militaristic Zaku. It's a nice matte finish on it. Which is also very nice. Uh... This little, I don't know what it's called in the show because I didn't really grow up with it. It's, again, it was, it's more for my dad. But this little doohickey guy folds out. You can, it flies around, folds up, and then just plugs right back into his head. But yeah, um, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, I think my dad's going to be pretty happy with it. I'm pretty happy with it. It's really easy to build. Um, but my dad doesn't really have time to build stuff like this. So that's why I just built it for him. But yeah, uh, the only th only downside, I guess, is you, you should be a pretty big fan of this. Because the price point is kind of high. Um, it's about the same price as a lot of high grades. But then again, I guess if you like the shape of it... Uh, and with the features it has, maybe you can justify it. It's just, um, I, I, I don't know. I don't know if, it, for me, I don't know if I would pay that much. Uh, but because this was a gift, I, I didn't really mind paying it. And also, I guess the contrary is $20 still isn't that much for a model kit. But I'll let you guys be the judge of that. Uh, it also comes with a part... Um, I think I already threw it away by accident, but it's supposed to come with a part that plugs in the bottom here so you can um have him pose like this and make him look like he's flying um or you can just plug it straight into that the action base but I don't really have an action base for it, so and my dad's probably gonna lose that part anyway, so i I didn't really feel the need to uh take it out. Well, yeah, uh, this was a little quick review. Um, the quality is very good. Articula articulation is very good. The build was very nice. Um, accessories are pretty spot on. And uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with it. And I think you guys will be too if you're into this, uh, this robot. So thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you like this video. Uh, like if you like this video. Um, I have more other. I have more content. I'll, most of my channel so far has been RC stuff, but I promise I have more Gundam stuff and model kits and stuff coming up very soon. So subscribe if you're excited for that. And uh, again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.